Who put the airbrush in my hands? Was it smart? Keep watching and find out. Currently I am using a Goblin's Beauty Airbrush system because that is what I have. The airbrush comes with a battery power supply that is rechargeable with an included USB cable. The airbrush comes with a gravity feed standard cup, a 20 milliliter and 40 milliliter plastic cups for water and other beauty applications. I put a link in the description in case you wanted to check it out. It's supposed to be spraying at about 25 pounds of pressure. While this is a little stronger for detailing work, I am currently just practicing on some old N-scale shells and other accessories. If you're an experienced airbrusher, I'm sure you'll be able to pick out many flaws, but I think this is pretty good for just a couple weeks of learning. I'm using a portable spray booth that my wife purchased for me. There are many versions out there and they range in price from $99 on sale to around $200. You can even get two spray booths at a discounted price. I bought a pack of Vallejo Weathering Model Air Paints. They look really good and I am most enamored with the Panzer Dark Gray. It comes with a brown mud, a couple different sand shades, as well as a flat black. There are a few additional colors. I then bought a gold color as I wanted to try some striping. A link to the set and to the Panzer Dark Gray paint on its own is in the description. I learned a good lesson while practicing. Spend some money on good detailing tape. First, I got some blue painter's tape as I ran out of a previous roll. Apparently, they come with different adhesion. As you can see here, the blue tape pulled up a number of spots on this model. Then, wanting to do striping, I bought a thin tape, and that was the opposite. It would not stick to the model, and it would not stick to itself. I just recently ordered a badger maroon color, as I could not find it at the retailers I use from Vallejo. Finally, I initially tried the Panzer Dark Gray on one of the locomotive shells. I fell in love with it right away. I noticed I had four bridges that were sitting in boxes. Out of the four, I found a girder bridge, and that's the type I grew up with in central New Jersey, so I chose that one. The girder bridge was a black plastic and shiny. That's not what I grew up with. So I airbrushed it with the Panzer Dark Gray. It looks much better now. I could do some further weathering on it, but I think maybe I will try decaling first. Let me know in the comments if I should weather the bridge before I decal or after. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for updates when uh, videos are released. Thanks so much for watching.